For weeks now, we've been telling you how, day after day, Maine is setting records when it comes to gasoline prices. And today is no different. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. And I'm Amanda Hill. AAA says the statewide average for regular hit a new high of 508 a gallon. A month ago, it was 445, and it was about $2 less a year ago. And now, now look at diesel. People fueling their trucks, tractors, or boats are paying an average of 618 a gallon. That's $3 more than a year ago. And that's the average, meaning some are paying a lot more. News Center means Jack Molmud went to Freeport today where he found prices a lot higher. I am at Strout's Marina in Freeport where if you want to fill up your diesel boat, that's going to run you about $7.15 per gallon. That's about a dollar higher than the statewide average. If you ride around on a pleasure boat like one of these, that means about one or two fewer outings per year. But for those of you who have to make a living on this water, that price might be a tough pill to swallow. Gulp, gulp, gulp. <laughs> Here we go. The high cost of fuel is not only hitting cars, it's hitting boaters too. It's a necessary evil. If you're going to enjoy time on the water, you got to pay the price. Dave Tyson of Freeport says the price of fuel for his 20 foot fishing boat has doubled. He recently added a fuel surcharge when he takes people out for fishing tours. I'm driving a little slower <laughs> for one, not using as much fuel. I'm turning the boat off more often when we get to spots and uh, just kind of drifting with the current. The price of fuel for boats is also hitting boat works and marinas. So it's definitely uh, you got to hit the bottom line for everybody. It's probably double what it was last year. John Brewer runs two marinas, Brewer and Strouts in Freeport. He says shipment for boats is impacting everyone's bottom line. I had a feeling it was coming our way. Um, and in here we are. In Yarmouth, it's the same deal. I'm sure it's on everyone's mind. Adam White says it's also doubled in price to fuel his boat, but he's not the most impacted. The impact it's going to have on our commercial fishing guys this summer, I can't even imagine. A problem that increases the bigger your fuel tank is. Uh, we go seven, eight days a week, and then we'll come in and take fuel, and turn around, and go again. Michael Irving has been fishing in Maine for 40 years. Haddock, monkfish. You know, it's multi-species, you know. But this is the first time he says he's faced fuel prices this high. Well, I didn't make any money because we couldn't cover the fuel bill. For Michael and his crew on the Patriot, they have no choice. We're just going and we don't get paid for it. But the boats have to go. It's just, it's, I don't know, it's, just, it's ludicrous. It's just stupid. Vessel Services in Portland says commercial fishermen haven't had any help with rising fuel costs. Unfortunately for them, just because the fuel costs more, they can't necessarily get that much more for their fish. The market kind of dictates that. So for them, um, it's, uh, they can go out and they can technically they can lose money on a trip. Michael Foster with Vessel Services says to bear with fishermen while they handle the fuel surge. Every time you pay a little bit more at, that, at the market or at the store or at the fish market for that fish or the lobster, you're allowing them to continue what they do and continue to make, have them make a living. So Michael Irving, that commercial fisherman you just heard from, his boat is much larger than these boats. We're talking 8,000 gallons of diesel fuel that he has to fill up every week, which runs him about forty to $60,000. Now, before this fuel surge, he was paying about $15,000 to $20,000. In Freeport, Jack Molmud, New Center, Maine.